guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a brand new in the cart or forgot about. I do these every single Monday here on my channel where I chat about some new makeup releases that are coming out. These are essentially my version of a Will I Buy It, which are always inspired by my friend Samantha March here on YouTube. I will have her YouTube channel linked down below for you guys. She also created a community playlist where other creators who do these style of videos can add their videos into the playlist. So if you guys like watching these videos, make sure you check out her channel and make sure you check out the community playlist. If you guys are ready to go ahead and hear my thoughts on some of these new launches, go ahead and keep on Alright, so first off, I do have a dress on. I know a lot of times when I wear strapless things, everyone's like, hey, got clothes on under there, I promise. I have a dress on, you just can't see it. Um, but I'm going to be going through, of course, everything this week and talking about the new makeup launches. I'm actually filming this on a Saturday. I normally film these either on um, Sunday or on Monday. But I just actually got home from a baby shower, so I was like, hey, I'm already have makeup on, like I might as well just film. So that's what I'm going to do. I have Trend Mood pulled up here on my phone, and I have some new products I want to talk about with you guys. So. The first one I am going to talk about is actually a um, collaboration. This is an ad collaboration. So this is the Museum of Ice Cream times Sephora. They have a new collection that just came out. The Museum of Ice Cream looks like an amazing place to go. I'm not even sure like where they're located, but I know I've seen like a ton of people like post from there and it just looks like such a fun like museum. I totally wanna go there. So anyway, so they collaborated with Sephora on this collection, so that's kind of like an interesting collaboration. But this collection, you guys, is so adorable. It's so freaking cute. So inside of the collection, they have um, a set of brushes. They also have an eyeshadow palette. There is some lip colors. There's some lashes. I just think this is adorable. There's also like a little face palette. So packaging doesn't always get me, but sometimes I see some packaging and I'm like, ah, I want that so bad. So first off, the brush collection looks adorable. So it has like these little sprinkles in the handles of the brush and then they come in like this sprinkle case, which is so cute. And then you also have um, like a bracelet as well, which is kind of odd, but the lip products in here, they look like little popsicles. I saw these and I was like, I literally want all of this makeup and I never want to touch it. The lashes are kind of weird. They have like little feathers on them. But um, also the eyeshadow palette is like a little popsicle as well. I don't know. I want to look at these items in Sephora because I might just get one just to like display because I think they're so cute. I think the packaging on this is just adorable. So the um, brush set is $64, so it is pretty pricey. I don't know like the quality of the brushes, and I probably wouldn't touch them because they're so cute. And then we also have um, the eyeshadow palettes, $42. The lip set is $34. The charm bracelet is $28, and then the face palette is $36, and then the lashes are $18. Those are the Rainbow Sherbert lashes. All of these items will be available on September 20th at Sephora, and then it also says they'll be inside the Museum of Ice Cream. So, oh, San Francisco, okay. So that is where it is located. I'm gonna have to visit it next time I go to San Francisco because it looks pretty cool. But I think this collection is so cute. Let me know down below what you guys think, but when I saw this, I just, I wanted everything solely for the purpose of just displaying the items in my room. So part of the Volcano Goddess um, collection from Becca, they're gonna have a Volcano Goddess eyeshadow. So this is going to be like an eyeshadow slash liner and it's an individual. It's gonna be $19 and it will be coming soon. So it looks really nice. It's like a kind of vampire purpley black and it has like some iridescent purples in it. This looks really cute. I think this would be perfect for like smoky looks. Becca lately, like I, I was talking to you guys a while ago about their um their volcano uh, volcano goddess collection, and I was saying like what I thought about it, and I was just saying how different it was for Becca. These this single also looks different for them. It looks like they're kind of trying to just go a little bit more edgy or something. And I actually just got the um goddess volcano collection sent to me from Becca so I'm super excited so I'll be reviewing that for you guys next week for sure um but I don't know I'm kind of liking like at first I was like I don't know how I feel about this it's not really on brand for Becca and then I started um seeing more of the items they're releasing and I just think it's kind of cool that they're doing something a little edgy and a little different so 
This is something I'll keep my eye on. It looks like a super pretty eyeshadow. I don't know though, $19 seems pretty pricey for an individual shadow, but it does look very pretty. So next I want to talk about a new palette from Viseart. This is going to be their brand new Muse Beauty Pro Palette. This is going to be the Grand Pro Palette Volume 2. It will be $175. It will be limited edition. And there is going to be 30 shades in this palette. This is the first time I'm seeing a palette from Viseart that actually made me like look at it like who who's that from because normally when I see their palettes they're very just like underwhelming to me and I've talked about them before and the fact that I feel like they're pretty pricey and I've never really heard anyone like rave about them like I've heard people like mention them here and there but I know some people like they're like their standbys but I feel like I just don't hear much about them and for some reason this palette just looks gorgeous it is an all shimmer palette but it just looks really pretty. It looks like you can create like a ton of different looks with it. And it kind of has like every color you would need. And I just think it looks gorgeous. So this was the first palette I think from them that I was like, oh, what's that? But like I said, it's $175. I'm definitely not gonna be getting it, but it looks very pretty. So P. Louise has a new eyeshadow palette. This is part of a holiday release from them and it has 18 shades in it. And here's the thing. So their Instagram, like when I watch their Instagram videos, I'm like so inspired from them. And I always wanted to get like one of their palettes, but I haven't gotten one. But the thing I want from them the most, the reason I wanted to talk about this, is I wanna know what you guys think of their eyeshadow base. Have any of you guys tried it? Because I always see people using it, I just never know if it's like worth the money. It's quite pricey for an eyeshadow base and I normally just use like concealer. But I'm kind of like, should I get that? Because I always see everyone using it and I wanna know if it's any good. Like, have you guys tried it? Do you recommend it? Do you think it's better than using just like concealer or a regular eye base? Please let me know in the comment section. I probably will not be picking up this palette, although it does look beautiful. I don't think I need another matte, like all matte palette in my collection. But it does look nice. It says it will be available at the end of October. But I really just wanted to throw that in there because I wanted to know your guys' opinion on their eye base. So you should let me know down below if you guys like that or not. So Too Faced is adding some new products into their Clover line. So they have a new Pretty Puppy eyeshadow palette. It's gonna be $28 and it includes six eyeshadows. They're also going to have a Melted Clover 2 Matte Liquid Lipstick and then also a stuffed clover, so a stuffed animal that you can get as well. So this palette looks cute. The clover line is cute, I feel like. I don't know, I just, I mean it's a cute collection, but I don't think it's like my vibes. When I, like the earlier, the palettes with the ice cream and everything like that, I'm like, I want that. This palette, I'm not like, mm. I need that. Um, but it does look like a pretty little palette if you guys are into obviously that packaging, then I think it's super cute. The lip color also looks really nice as well, but I don't think I'm gonna need this collection. I haven't gotten anything from the Clover collection from them. So it seems like they're extending. I feel like Too Faced is one of those brands that always extends their collections. Like they always come out with like new palettes and add it to the collection or new lips or new face. It just seems like they do that a lot because I feel like last week we were just talking about them extending um, their peaches and cream and now they're extending this one. So that's definitely something that they do. They just add more items into the collection. And then I wanna also talk about the new eyeshadow palette from Kylie Cosmetics. So she is actually launching a whole new um, collection. So it's gonna be the Kylie X Jordan collection. Jordan is her best friend and they are coming out with an eyeshadow palette. It also looks like they have a highlighting palette and then a couple of glosses. So the actual eyeshadow palette, I kind of like the color she chose for this. I think it's really pretty. We have like some purples in there. You have like some taupey shades. There's a gold shade, a brown shade, and then you also have that really pretty like frosted green shade. I actually think that this is the first time I've seen a palette from Kylie that I was like, hmm, like maybe I'll get that one. It actually looks really, really pretty. I love the packaging on it. I like that she correlates things with her life. I think that's very smart marketing, but I also think it makes her line unique that you know she had her launch with her mom, she had the one for her daughter, she did collabs with her sisters, now she's doing one with her best friend. The packaging's super cute. I just think it's cool that she you know coordinates it with her life. Yes, I'm sure that, that sells more palettes and things, but I just think it's cool. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of eyeing this palette. It says that everything will be available on September 21st. I'm kind of curious to see when she's gonna come into Ulta because I feel like if this palette was in Ulta, I probably would purchase it. 
but I probably, I'll just be honest, I probably won't order it off her website just because I feel like ordering off her website is always such an ordeal. Uh, but I think this palette looks really cool. I was saying that I was kind of bored with what she was doing lately. And when I saw this, I was like, hmm, like that looks actually really pretty. And also she took out the brush out of her palette because I haven't seen her do one of these long palettes without the brush. So I think that's better because I always hate when the palettes have the brush because I feel like I never use them. So I like the idea that she took out the brush. So what do you guys think? Are you interested in this new collection from Kylie? Let me know down below. So we have a new release from ColourPop that will be coming out September 13th. So they have their brand new fall edit collection and it looks like this is all like animal print theme. So we have a highlighting palette, we have an eyeshadow palette and then some lippies. So I don't know if I love this palette. I'm not super into animal like animal themed, cheetah themed, like that kind of a thing. But the actual palette does look pretty. Um, it has like some yellow, some purples in there. And also the highlighting palette looks absolutely beautiful on the inside. Like I feel like I would use all of those shades. I just, I don't know. Um, with the eyeshadow palette, I'm trying to think like if, if I need this, I don't feel like I need it in my collection, but I might get that highlighting palette because I do think it's really pretty. I just don't love like the animal prints. I don't think it really matches like ColourPop's brand necessarily. So I don't know that I love the animal prints and everything, but I definitely, definitely want to check out that highlighting palette. I love, love, love their formula of highlights. I like their pressed highlights. I also really enjoy their Super Shock Cheek highlights. Those are really, really good. All right, and then after that, that is all of the items we are going to be talking about this week. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on the new makeup launches. Let me know what you guys think down below, what products you guys are excited about or not so excited about. I would love to hear down below. Do not forget to like and also subscribe to my channel before you guys go, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, friends.